imaginary time. It may sound scary, like something out of a sci-fi movie, but it's a well-defined mathematical concept. First though, let's talk about real time. The real time axis, T, is the time we're used to. We feel it passing and move through it. It started with the Big Bang and will end when the universe ends. So what's imaginary time? Well, it's based off of I, the square root of negative one. In algebra, when we find the roots of a polynomial, they can be real, imaginary, or have components of both. We can graph this on two perpendicular axes, the imaginary and the real. When this happens, x becomes ix. So we can also apply this concept to time. Imaginary time is what we get from i times t. This new it axis is the imaginary time axis. It's perpendicular to real time and doesn't act the same way. Real time has a definitive start and end, whereas imaginary time is continuous. But it's not infinite. Think of it more like the Earth's surface. So what does this mean for how we see the world around us? Well, we can answer that question with space-time. Space-time is what our whole universe exists in. We see it as three spatial directions, x, y, and z, and one time direction. When modeling this, we can use equations much like the Pythagorean theorem to describe where something is in space-time and how it moves. There are two ways we can model space-time mathematically, Euclidean and Minkowski. In Euclidean space-time, we have three spatial dimensions and one time dimension represented by tau. These are all positive, and because of this, space acts like a time dimension much as we see in imaginary time. So it doesn't have constraints or start and end. Minkowski space-time is a little different. We still have our three positive spatial dimensions, but we have a negative time dimension. This allows for time to be real or imaginary, or both. So how are these compatible? For now, let's pretend we only have one space dimension to make this easier. We can say that both of these space-time equations are true when we switch from real to imaginary time, because we know that i squared, the square root of negative 1 squared, is negative 1. So i times t squared is always going to be negative, less than zero. So Minkowski space-time says that negative t squared plus x squared equals d squared. If time is imaginary, let's substitute it for t in the Minkowski equation. We get negative it squared plus x squared equals d squared. So if i squared is just negative one, then we can say t squared plus x squared equals d squared. And then we get the formula for Euclidean space-time. All we really did was rotate our coordinate by 90 degrees. This is called a wick rotation. Imaginary time is a mathematical concept that, while we can't really see it in our everyday lives, it affects us, and it's a really interesting to under thing to understand and learn. Thank you for watching.